My adventures at E3 2016 were made possible by NVIDIA Australia and New Zealand. Hello again, I am Blunty out front of the Phenotic booth at E3 2016 and these guys caught my eye because they have a quite an attractive looking CPU cooler which looks just like a regular CPU cooler but upon closer inspection I rapidly found out it is something entirely different, a new form of CPU cooler. Boldly claiming to be the future of cool, the Hex 2.0 cooler is something I have never seen before. The idea of using this kind of technology to be a CPU cooler is not new, but having a polished retail ready device that anybody can plug in and use is something I've not seen before. Away from the standard choices of either air cooled or water cooled arrangement, this is something altogether different. While a normal CPU cooler passively absorbs heat into its CPU contact plate, the Hex 2.0 uses a proprietary thermoelectric cooler design to actively pull heat away from the CPU and then with a familiar setup of heatsink and fan dissipate that heat in the usual manner. This arrangement allows superb cooling performance and a very compact design of just 125 by 112 by 95 millimeters and I'm told users will be able to push their CPU to 140 watts TDP and beyond with ease. Now when your CPU is under low load, the Hex 2.0 can sit in a passive mode just like a regular heatsink and fan with zero power consumption. And when you're pushing things, and quite likely if you're after a high performance cooler like this, it's under a nice fat overclock, the integrated electronic control kicks in the active cooling and can pull up to a peak power of 35 watts over a standard 6-pin auxiliary graphics power cable. There's also an optional USB interface for software monitoring and custom control over the performance and of course the almost mandatory LED lights which yes you can turn off if you prefer a more stealthier look. The fan is a standard 92mm job and you can replace it with something else if you wish but they seem quite proud of the one they've made for it. It has a relatively low max RPM of just 2650 RPM which will churn out a pretty quiet 33 dBA and the typical idle speed is just 1000 RPM virtually silent at less than 17 dBA. They were also quite proud of the design efforts made to enable a super clean and simple mounting system. Now it is compact but I'd not really call it small, but thanks to the active heat exchange it should punch well above its weight class compared to other similarly sized passive heat sink and fan units. And it is in fact on sale as of right now for just under 150 US dollars. But there you go, that is the Fanatic booth, so drop in the comment section below and uh, tell me if this is something you would be interested in seeing me take a look at, because personally speaking, I'm rather interested in it, but let me know how interested you are as well. But yeah, that's all I've got for you from this booth, time to move on, I will catch you in the next video about E3 2016, thanks for watching, I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.